Hey up lads and lasses, Danfar here, back again with some more Infinite Lagrange. Today we are looking at the Mist Jewel because I didn't get round to doing it because I didn't have it at the time and then a lot of patches came out. So I'm going to show you how I set up my Mist Jewel. Uh, this is after the anti-air patches which kind of like changed a little bit. So generally speaking, if we're talking about AA ships and to an extent also any of um, the the uh, screening type ships, there is uh, now this uh, ability to reduce the reciprocal of the aircraft. Um, and I recommend taking it on those type of ships because they're generally a bit squidgier. Um, so yeah, anyway, we'll jump into it and I'll talk about uh, the Mistral now. Uh, and then I think that's all the ships bar the Thunderbolt. I can do a basic one on the Thunderbolt. But I can't do one with uh, all the modules because I don't have them all. Um, so yeah. Anyway, first off with the Mistral, I personally just go straight into the damage on it. Actually, it's not completely true. I do go into the propulsion system. I will pick up uh, the ship evasion to start off with and the hit rate that's in the uh, the ship of it, the propulsion system. Uh, that's pretty much due to the fact that the damage isn't amazing on it. Like if you look, it's only a 12 damage per hit. So, you know, boosting that damage per hit doesn't matter too much, but getting that accuracy up on it is incredible. It's already quite accurate. Increasing the hit rate even further is definitely pretty good. So following that, I go into the weapon system, I pick up the hit rate straight off the bat as well here. That's giving us a really nice little bonus to hit rate. Uh, after that, target selection time and cooldown. I'd probably go cooldown before the target selection time personally. Uh, this does increase the DPM quite nicely. Um, so a bit more important. And then I've picked up the two damage here. There is options for the two crit damages, but I prefer to just get the damage out properly on it, even though these aren't really boosting it that much. 20% of 12 is like 2. Um, is it like 2.5 or something like that? It, it's basically, and uh, like, it, it doesn't matter. You can quite happily uh, pick up the crit damage and stuff like that. Something to note is it has focus on aerial targets, which prioritizes fights, interceptors. I don't recommend picking this up. Um, it's going to prioritize fighters and interceptors anyway. Uh, so this is kind of like a, it doesn't matter, honestly, like really doesn't matter. So I, I would completely ignore this strategy. Pick up the other strategy, which is pursue targets. When targets HP falls below 20%, it increases attack chances in a single round by one and reduces attack interval by 40%. This is increasing your damage. And it's basically just allowing you to finish off targets um, a touch more efficiently. And that is pretty much it for the weapon system. After the weapon system, I go into the armor. I grab, well, you don't have a choice here. It's HP or HP or HP. Enjoy. That was quite easy, wasn't it? Pick up the HP there. It's going to help you survive. And then I'm picking up the target selection time and then the reduce the flight time of the reciprocal aircraft by 30%. The reason I'm picking this up is what happens after fighters destroy certain like amount of ships and that kind of thing, they go back to the carrier, RTB sort of thing, and then they go back out. Reducing that time is not only increasing the survivability of the ship, because when they go back to carrier, they drop target, and secondly, uh, it's when you're going back out, reducing that flight time because they can get shot now after the AA changes on the way out of the carrier a bit quicker. So getting it back into the battle faster actually helps its survivability because it's more likely to get onto a target, kill a target and then get back again. So reciprocal aircraft, generally speaking, quite good to pick up on most things. Uh, some of the Corvettes that are a bit slower, things like uh, Sully the Defenders and that kind of thing, you may ignore reciprocal aircraft. Actually, I'm not even sure it has reciprocal aircraft uh, reduced flight time on it, so it's potential that you don't need to worry about it. But anything that you, you want to survive a bit longer 
and get a bit more damage out of, I recommend picking up the uh, reciprocal aircraft flight time reductions if they are on ships. Um, and that's generally across the board, all fighters, corvettes, etc. So if you are watching one of the older videos where reciprocal aircraft wasn't a thing, uh, and you've now watched this one, you can just apply that knowledge uh, backwards. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Obviously, we have uh, the command system on here. Ships prioritize, ships primary weapon prioritize. It's attack on super cap capitals is terrible on the mist. You'll do not pick it up. Yes, okay, it's weapons do do system damage, which, you know, is quite nice. But, I mean, it, its damage is so low, the chances of it actually doing anything is horrendous. Plus, you know, you're only getting 12 damage per hit here, where if you are going after aircraft, you're getting an additional 10 damage on top of the 12, uh, basically doubling its damage, which is uh, partially why it does so well, because, um, yeah, these, the, the attack speeds and stuff on this thing, cooldowns, lowers anything, lock-on time is quick, attacks per round's high, duration's not bad. So, yeah, it... Just don't get it shooting at capital ships. So the command system, you only really have one uh, selection left, and that is to pick up the automated maintenance efficiency of the systems by 25%. What this does is when a system gets knocked out, uh, I think you can do it three times, uh, when it, it can be knocked out three times, uh, there is a time it takes to fix, which is about 25 seconds, and this reduces that time. So say if your weapon system got not, uh, gets knocked out on this thing, which can happen because if it's fighting other mistrals, there's a chance there that the system damage will hit this and knock out its weapon system. It'll come back a little bit quicker and back up and running and you're back doing damage again. So um, it's not necessary, but it is highly useful to try and pick up uh, the command system. Uh, on this plus you know that means you can max it out which gives it a bit of a cooler look in my opinion because it's a uh, it's definitely a really cool looking ship although i don't understand why a fighter has a bridge yep that that doesn't make any sense to me this thing looks like it should probably have been bigger for a bridge because it's a fighter it should only have like maybe one two pilots max uh not a bridge <laughs> for certain anyway that's it for the mist Joel. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.